I attribute it back to Coach Godwin and Coach Bortles. Um, last year, they were uh, they believed in me. They instilled confidence in me. Um, and the cliche that baseball is a game of failure is a real thing. But once you kind of learn to uh, handle that adversity and, and start building some confidence, it's uh, it's only up from there. So I attribute it to those guys, and then the, the confidence piece, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cam's actually, other than Coach Palumbo, he's been a, he's been an amazing coach uh, for me. For me, um, still, uh, still getting used to it, you could say. But um, he's definitely helped the the transition over there. Um, and uh, yeah, I just look to get better over there every single day. But like I said, he's been he's been a huge help for me. Dad Dixon Williams is a really good player. Um, he, uh, he had a great summer, um, but, um, that, that summer league was, it was fun. I got to play for Sal Colangelo, who, uh, I know I played for his brother growing up. Uh, the Colangelo, Colangelo family is big in, uh, Northern Virginia. Um, but he kind of just let us go, go out and play. And, um, I enjoyed kind of taking the momentum that I had from the end of last season into that summer league and just had fun with it. And like I said, I got to see... Dixon Williams play some of the best baseball he's probably ever played. Uh, I, I certainly was. I was actually sitting at home and I texted Coach Godwin one day and I was like, honestly, I was just kind of bored, to be quite honest. Like I was like, I, I ended the season strong and I just had one to get more more abs. It wasn't necessarily like. Um, I didn't need to work on anything or, or something. I was just bored and wanted to go play. And I knew Dixon was there, and I knew Sal Colangelo was the coach. And Coach Godwin granted me that opportunity, and I just had fun with it. Yeah. Yeah. I, um, man, I just I, I think back to a lot of – people that have poured into me um probably the most significant person is is mike amen he uh he was a huge blessing to me and my family to me and my family um and then obviously the relationship that i have with coach godwin um obviously helps that and that's a testament to the coaches because they care more about you as a person than they do as a player um and once um that whole situation kind of came up um coach godwin and coach palumbo handled it handled it very well if in all honesty i, I think i probably didn't handle it the best um but like I said I'm very blessed to still be here um I wouldn't want to be anywhere else I guarantee you that I was um an emotional process for me but uh like I said I'm blessed to be here and I couldn't thank the coaching the coaching staff for believing in me and, and hanging on to me <laughs> yep I don't own a pair of jeans um and JC really doesn't like that um and so last year for Secret Santa, he got me, and uh, he said he didn't have the budget to buy me a real pair of jeans, so he went to Goodwill and bought a $3 pair of pink jeans. And I don't, I think I threw them away as soon as that, that day ended, but um, yeah, no, no. I didn't even try them on, but they were like, uh, they looked like capris, so I, uh, I just threw them away immediately, honestly. Yeah, no doubt. Um, it's always it's always fun to play those in-state schools, um, and to think about how like the quality of baseball in the state of North Carolina is. It only helps us. It only makes us better. Um, but obviously, those those rivalry games are always fun to be a part of. Um, I think they bring out the best in both teams, and that's why they're on our schedule. Uh, Coach Godwin and Coach Palumbo, Palumbo do a great job of of scheduling those games. So it's fun for us. It's fun for the fans, and at the end of the day, it just makes us better. I, I think uh, I think myself is more of a, a leader on the team, and um, my job is really just to ensure that we show up to practice every day and, and get better. Um, I think I can obviously do a better job of that, um, but my role on the team now is just to ensure that the guys are ready to go, um, whether 
and for my personal role, I'd, I'll do whatever it takes to help the team win. If it's first base, it's first base. If it's left field, it's left field. It, it doesn't matter to me. Um, but my job as a, as a player and as a leader right now is just to ensure that the guys are ready to go because we still got three weeks till the season starts and we still got plenty of work left to do. I do. Right now, right now we're in a good spot. We actually had a, a, a really good weekend of practice this past weekend. Um, but, uh, I mean, we, we say it every day, but just to get 1% better every day is and, – and I know Coach Knight's actually touched on it, but just being the best version of yourself every day is, uh, is what we strive to do. And um, we're in a good spot now, but there's still plenty of work left to do before we, we can step foot on, on game one. Fielding the ground ball. <laughs> uh, that 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 piece for me is still developing. Um, but it's uh, like I said, Cam Clanch has Cam Clanch has been a huge help. But um, Coach Palumbo, obviously, like you look at our past. I don't know. Ever since he's been the coach here, uh, our defense has always our infield defense specifically has always been um, top of the country. So he's amazing at his job, and uh, he's made that transition for me a lot a lot easier. No, but I was seven ground balls in and, and broke my finger. Uh, yeah, yeah, that we'll, we'll talk about that later. <laughs> yeah, that's something that um, from my first year here being in that super to now, um, you really see that every game matters. Uh, that like every game is the difference between hosting and not hosting. Um, obviously, we'd, we'd love to host um, because we have the best fans in the country that will make any opposing team, it makes it very difficult to play here for, for any opposing team. Um, but that just really shows uh, last year we were kind of on that that verge of hosting and not hosting. And there was, we can draw back to a couple of key games where if we had won that game, then we probably would have hosted. Um, and so you can't take that midweek against whoever uh, for granted because uh, the, I know the committee looks at RPI pretty heavily and so every single every single game matters. Yeah, I, I, I think of on-base percentage is just like a way to help the team win. Like if that's getting hit by pitch, it's and hit by pitch. If it's a walk, it's a walk. It's yeah. I mean, Freddie Freeman talks about just OBP is probably the, the stat that he looks at the most because if you're getting on base, you you have a chance to score, and if you score, you win. So that's that's kind of how I view it. <laughs> I actually do, I do, but I can't release it yet. So you're gonna have to show up on game one, and uh, and and see what it is. <laughs> 